Hello, Lola's. So I am here with a video with Logan that I keep saying, oh, when he gets rooted, he's going to be sold. When he gets rooted, he's going to be sold. But you know how that go. We'll know when we know. All right, guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, if you're not a part of the chatterbox, you can still join. It is the next level for $4.99. Um, in the chat box, you will see some of everything, I guess. Um, but that's up to you if you want to join. So this guy actually was being rooted with some very fine hair. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in to him. He's a big, this is a big baby actually. Um, his size is like really nice. It's like three to six months or so. All right. So this hair, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it is very fine, silky hair. Like it is. And it's probably not gonna stay this long when I root it, but I don't know. Um, I like that it can go straight. I'm not going to do his whole head like this. I, I found out with rooting hair that certain hairs um, take so long because it's like so like cottony thin and it takes you longer to root that hair. And now don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. And I like it, especially around like the edges and stuff like that. But some of that hair, and then you have to match your needle to the hair. So I bought a whole bunch of needles from uh, Angela Plicka. Uh, now when I say a whole bunch, I mean like hundreds. Um, but I'm going to try a couple more of them, but I cannot use it with the silicone babies it probably works better with the vinyl because you do use a different needle from vinyl than you do with silicone in most cases so it probably works better but that needle that I use with from with her and I tried to use it on the vinyl it like picked up like three or four hairs at a time it was very hard to just pick up one hair with that needle so I decided nope not gonna work when I'm rooting silicone so but I like the actual hair that I bought from her and then there's some hairs that I got that seem to take less time with rooting it all takes time but um I can pick up the hair faster I move faster with it um, some of the hair is it's, it's picking up, but it feels like you're not picking it up. It's, it feels like you're not getting anywhere because it's so thin. So you can root like a million, the same amount of hairs, but because each strand is so super paper thin, it's almost like you got to double up the rooting in order to get it to um, look full. And I made that mistake a couple times before. Like, the first baby that I rooted, um, silicone baby I rooted, I felt like I rooted it way too full. It was, like, super thick. Um, it was directionally rooted, and it wasn't clumpy or anything, but the hair just, it was just, like, a lot of hair. And so then I did others, and then I thought I was doing it thick and full, but because the, the hair... Uh, I want to say follicles but the hair strands was so thin that even though it was a lot of rooting the hair just did, just still didn't come across as really full so I'm still learning that stuff with you know the different hairs and I got when I tell you guys I got probably a couple thousand dollars worth of hair and I'm not saying that to like oh brag oh I got guess what I got I'm telling you about how much I've invested in wanting to have 
you know, really good quality hair and nice hair and to be able to accomplish different looks and stuff. But I don't, I'm still learning, trying to learn like which hair is going to give me what look, if that makes sense. And then on top of that, I have to try to learn, you know, which way, you know, that I want to root it, which direction is going to make it work. So it's, it's a lot. Um, but I, I, I love it. I'm actually starting to really get into the rooting thing. And I really am going to step out of my comfort zone with, you know, some of my personal babies and practice some stuff and try different types of hairs and blends and mixes and all that stuff. Um, just because I, you know, I want to be able to paint and root to where it all works together and the baby looks super realistic. That's my goal from the hair to the skin tone and all that stuff. Let me take you off the, off the camera for a minute so you guys can kind of get a, well, it'll focus, huh? There it is. So you guys can get an idea. I mean, get closer. So let me see if it'll focus, but you see, his hair is so, it's so thin, like, but that's just like his edges. Like this, this part here is going to be like his edges. I am going to, I got some curly, some, some thick locks of curls that I got. And I'm going to root his whole head with that and give him a whole full head of hair. That's my goal. I love this baby like so much. It's so weird. I keep saying like, oh, I'm, I think I'm a seller. Because I'm, I'm just thinking my typical self that I'll eventually sell him. But look, I love how squishy his, and I know he's cloth, but it's just, it's so squishy. And he just feels so cuddly. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I think he might stay. Um, but I, I. I am going to have babies in uh, probably like February and March. I'll have babies available to sell that'll be painted and rooted. Um, but just, I don't know, some of the ones that I already have may actually stay. Him and uh, Brayden, which, not Brayden, Brady, which is my Christopher Robin, um, may actually be... Uh, keepers because there's just things the only thing that I don't love and I wish I had a guy armatures is wish I could have had armatures in his arms so that I could bend them more I do I really wish I could have I had asked about him but I think because he was a prototype and you have to really kind of show how the kit is going to come so people don't be you know, confused, but I kind of wish I had, um, I knew how to put the armatures in because I would put an armature in there and bend his, so his arm could bend more and stuff. So, but other than that, otherwise I love it. I love his size, look at his, his long, fat little legs and stuff. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to take his pants off so you guys can see his chunky thighs. Hold on. I'll put y'all right here. Chunk of monk. Chunk of monk. Chunk of monk. I want y'all to see his little chunky cell. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Look how chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Chunky, chunky, monk. He's a good size. Now I got your head kind of. There we go. <laughs> Hardly ever see him. He look almost weird without having 
pants on because I always have him like in clothes. Um, and I always feel like partials is not my thing. However, I was pretty proud with him. I actually was. I was pretty proud how he turned out. I think he, um, I think I did good with him. I'm always beating myself up, but I think I did really good with him and I was really proud. And I am going to finish those other partials that I got <laughs> next year. And I don't know, one I may keep and one I may not. So it's gonna be fun, but I gotta put your pants back on, little boy. So yeah, um, definitely enjoy his size. I love that I can find like all types of clothes and outfits for him and they he fills them out so well and I don't really have to, you know, worry as much. Like when they're really like small, like tiny, you really have to work to find cute outfits. Once they go into zero to three months really comfortably and some three to six months, it really helps the amount of clothes that you can, you can find for them. This outfit is very cut very big. This is supposed to be a zero to three month and it's, it's cut very big. Oh, I hope that I didn't show. I'll have to look to make sure I didn't expose myself. Camera might have been right down my shirt. Hope not. Anyway, so that's that. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.